Hey friends, today I am at Hollywood Studios. I am so excited to be back in this park. There were a couple rides that I did not get to do since the park reopened. Tower of Terror being the biggest one, and I absolutely love it. So, that is our ultimate goal for today. Have fun at Hollywood Studios, ride Tower and Terror, and some other rides as well, but have fun. So, let's go do this. I did not get a look at the wait time, so at this moment, we're just gonna go right on, and I guess we're living on a prayer. I always love the queue for the Tower of Terror because they always have amazing fans. Like, literally, the air just pushes down on you. I actually don't think I've ever been over in this section of the extended queue, but it's a good spot to look at the Tower of Terror. This is front-facing. I've never seen it before. Even though we are wrapped around kind of like that extended loop area there, the line seems to be moving pretty quickly. I stopped right here at this part of the queue and I'm just admiring all the theming they got going on in here. I've never noticed those statues before and those windows up there have handprints inside them. As we get to the front entrance here, you can see more handprints like sliding down the glass just waiting here it's amazing how loud the music actually is oh wow we're not even doing a pre-show we're just walking right through and we're just about on and it only took us about 20 minutes so that's amazing I'll take that any day if you ever find yourself over on this side of the queue, if you look down, you see a little sign there. That sign actually says, it's easy enough to be pleasant when life hums along like a song, but the man worthwhile is the man who can smile when everything goes dead wrong. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Oh, sweet, we got row one. Thank you. the elevator at all times. You know, for some reason, Tower of Terror is such an exhilarating ride that it actually sets the tone for today. Like, honestly, I think it's a great idea to come here, and if you start your day off and you ride Tower of Terror, you'll kind of be up and more excited because it's so exhilarating, it just makes you feel that way. After getting off Tower of Terror, I decided to come on over to Rosie's and grab myself a Bud Light. And I came by Victory with Vegetables, which is Rosie's Victory Garden. And it looks so nice, doesn't it? But things kind of get strange. Like, quick. That's a little weird, isn't it? I think it's amazing and I think it's really cool, but kind of a little off. I pulled up next to Rosie's and like I said, I'm just going to hang out here, drink my beer, kind of just take in the ambience and then probably ride Rock and Roller Coaster. I haven't done that in a while and those are like rides that kind of make me feel like I was back on vacation like eight years ago and it's just really chilled, relaxed. I loved hanging out over here on Sunset Boulevard. It's always one of my favorite spots. All right, let's move on. Let's go on over to Rock and Roller Coaster. This is really fun for me. It used to be so crowded down here. And look at all of this extended queue that they've added right out front. Does it get that busy, do you think? It says 25 minutes, but it looks like there's nobody in line, actually. The line starts there and the door is right there. 
So we might luck out here. Oh wow, that actually took literally seconds to get us in here. Amazing. I remember everybody used to touch this door. Bet you that's not a thing anymore. I wouldn't touch it. Mike. This is odd. How are we gonna get backstage passes if there's nobody here? I don't even know what to do right now. How about some backstage passes? Yep. <laughs> I don't think they've ever actually rode this ride before, but I think I just made a little Disney memory there. And they were gonna be like, hey, you remember that weird guy who asked us if we wanted backstage passes? That makes me feel good about myself. Oh wow, and here it is. I am so excited. It has been probably, I would say since last year since I rode this. Rock and Roller Coaster is one of those rides I always prefer the back to the front because you get more of the launch than you would actually sitting in the front. And definitely take your hats off for this one. Oh! That was super fun and a little bit rough. I forgot how rough rock and roller coaster was on the head. You like banging off the actual safety restraints. So I forgot that if you just put your head out a little bit like this, it actually won't bang in your ears and your head from like the different safety restraints. But I still loved it. I still love rock and roller coaster. It's so much fun. And since I've got the nostalgic vacation feeling going on, and there's no great movie ride, I think I'm gonna try to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I mean, that's the second best thing since it's actually in the Chinese theater. And honestly, overall, I just really enjoy the ride. I mean, I love the great movie ride, don't get me wrong, but at least we got a ride that was pretty decent in its place. Can you imagine if it was a bad ride that went into the great movie ride? I mean, that would have been horrible. But before we head to the great movie ride, I wanted to show you something pretty amazing. You see they're doing these special 30% off sales. They have like the American collection and then they have the summertime collection. You still get your annual pass discount with those. So that's 30 plus 20. You're looking at 50% off. That's pretty amazing. I'm actually interested in this shirt for 50% off. I wonder how much that is. Yeah, this shirt is regularly priced $36.99, so that means I'd be paying like 15 bucks for it? That's not bad. I wonder about the little hoodie here. Ooh, actually, wow, I like this hoodie. It's a 2XL. Fancy. Ooh, I think I might just get this. They have lots of amazing stuff. That's a really good deal, especially, like I said, if you're an annual pass holder. 50% off. Even spirit jerseys. I actually backed down, didn't buy the shirt. I feel like I might regret it. I mean, it's just a t-shirt, but even with the discount, it was still $16, and it was kind of just like a generic Walt Disney World shirt. I always like something with a little bit more theming in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like an attraction shirt or anything like that. So that's why I decided not to get it. Sometimes you just gotta realize, though, a good deal isn't a great deal if you don't actually want it. And for now, we're gonna head right on over to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. There is a character parade though happening behind me, I noticed. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I was kind of concerned because I didn't know how far I'd have to go back, but it looks like they're gonna turn right there. That's pretty awesome though. Hey, how are ya? <laughs> Listen to me. I'm like, hey, how are ya? <laughs> oh, wow. What do you think they do with those cars after, like, this is done with? I would love to come in possession of one of those Camaros. That'd be pretty awesome, right? Yes, definitely that Camaro right there. That'd be really, really cool. Looks like it's a little bit of a wait here, guys. Holy moly. I don't know if this is possible right now. Over an hour. 
it says it's a 50 minute wait, but I really don't think it's 50 minutes. Hopefully maybe 45, 40, maybe 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, maybe even 10. That's possible. No, I really don't know how long it's gonna be. It is a very long line though. So, I mean, we're gonna see. I'll definitely let you know. <laughs> and I actually feel pretty good about that wait. It's 2.03. So that means we've been in line for about 18 minutes and we're already going in. I think we did pretty well here, actually. No 50 minute wait. Honestly, one of my favorite parts about this ride is actually being inside this building again. Oh, I do miss the great movie ride, but it just brings back so many amazing memories for me. That's why I love it so much. Oh boy, the smell. Ah. Oh. Take that as a mental note if you guys come here during the actual situation that we're in and you see that they're lining up all the way outside. I was the farthest distance away and it was about a 20 minute wait before we actually made it inside. If we were standing in this spot right now, the queue would be going like this all the way down with the screen right in front and I'd be playing the amazing movies that the great movie ride used to play. And take a look at that, row number one. Total wait time was 30 minutes. So that's not that bad. I'm happy I decided to stay and wait or else I probably would have missed this. I wouldn't have time to do it later. 30 minutes is an acceptable wait time for this ride. I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Oh, there comes my train. So basically, I waited 30 minutes and I started right there. So if you're coming here and you see that the start point is right there, it was about 30 minutes. I literally just ran through the line. Now that's give or take depending on how many disability passes actually go through, if there's any ride breakdowns. But if it's just a consistent thing, 30 minutes just to walk right through. Yeah. I say, leave off the rep, Al chap. You're a jolly good sport there. At the moment, I'm actually seeking shelter because it is a downpour underneath the canopy of Gertie. And I'm waiting for my reservation to get called. I'm all checked in. And now I'm just waiting in the rain. Something really important to point out, the tune-in lounge is actually not open. 
Did you hear that? That's pretty awesome. But the tune-in lounge is not open, so you can't go in there and you can't hang out. You have to mobilely check in and then kind of hang out in the vicinity waiting for your text message. They've been sending a lot of people over to the Hollywood and Vine porch and letting them sit there since that restaurant's not open. But I can tell you this, if that was actually open, I'd be sitting in there enjoying a nice little Bud Light and absolutely loving the atmosphere. Hey, how are you? Yeah, that's me. All right. All right. First talk we here. It's like how late you get doing dishes the rest of the night. Nice. And we're about to go to our table, but wow, I have never seen this like this before. That blows my mind. I ended up getting a table that wasn't a kitchenette table so we have the TVs actually in the corner instead of being right in the kitchen and I already scanned my QR code to see what they got going on here and it's the usual menu but I'm not seeing any blue plate special so if there's no blue plate special I'll probably just stick to a sampling of mom's favorites chicken pot roast and meatloaf with all the fixings I just love all the decor in here and I love the little window curtains and then the little gelatin molds. It's just really nifty, isn't it? Oh, a fruit basket hanging there. Oh, that's for me. Thank you. You're welcome. And here is our dinner. This is the sampler. We got a little fried chicken, a little bit of meatloaf, a little bit of green beans, a little bit of mashed potatoes, and a little bit of the pot roast. All together in one. Delicious. It also gives me a chance to show you guys what the kitchenette area looks like. So I'm happy I'm not sitting there. I absolutely love the chicken here. It is amazing. so cool how they just keep it themed there's like a panda cookie jar on the right and then you have some cookbooks and then just it just really sticks to theming and I love it that's like one of the coolest things about the 50s primetime cafe the food is always amazing here like I said no blue plate special and I think the uh, cast members aren't really like too much into their antics uh, like so far someone told me I needed to have my napkin on my lap and uh, another person came by and told me watch those elbows but like you know what I mean it's 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 tough to be in that character mode right now and I, I don't mind I still love coming here just because of just the scenery and the food it's all great and they're all fantastic people And that was it. Just a quick bite to eat. Very delicious. I absolutely love it. And uh, kind of still strange to see the actual tune-in lounge like this. Mind-boggling, isn't it? And with that, I think I'm done here today. I had a great time enjoying some of the classic Hollywood Studios rides, eating at 50's Primetime Cafe, getting caught in the rain. <laughs> it was such a great day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!